Hey everybody, welcome back to Thrifting Tiger. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've actually been fighting a cold. I don't even tell from my voice. My nose is a bit stuffy. Uh, but I edited this video for you guys. It's going to be a compilation of a bunch of video clips of me going to thrift stores throughout this year. A lot of footage that I have not actually used in a video. It's part of my backlog of footage that I have not used. Figured I'd throw everything into one for you guys to see. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but it's still gonna be a good one. We picked up some pretty good stuff. A lot of stuff has already sold. I'll definitely put up comps and comparable comps from stuff that I haven't sold yet as well. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy this type of video, uh, but thanks for watching and enjoy. All right guys, I found this Sojirushi bread maker. It does have the paddles. Uh, I did plug it in, it doesn't seem to be working. I'm at the Ark thrift store, so we can see that. But it is $13. I think it can go for probably over 100 It's big and bulky though. Might take it, but still. Looks to be in pretty good shape. But yeah, first find of the day. I ended up finding another item, $7.99. This is actually a Toomey bag for eight bucks looks to be in pretty good shape too seems like all the zippers are working just a little dirty on the back uh but it's actually in really good shape eight bucks this can actually probably fetch in over a hundred as well two is a great brand to look out for here's the inner tag it's kind of blurry but uh the style is actually the bottom here great shape only eight bucks all right guys, made a quick stop at the Goodwill. Picked up one pair of shoes, just wanted to show you guys. Kind of taking a shot on these. These are the Nike Shocks. These were $10.99, so I paid $11. Men's size 12. It's like a leather blend. Um, kind of dirty, but I think I can clean them up with the shoe cleaner that I have. There's not too many sales and not too many listed. I think there were three listed, um, different colored, and then there were six sold also different colored so kind of taking a shot on this eleven dollar chance as you can see there's some loose threads here and there but i mean overall not too, too bad of a shape might be able to get like 50 to 60 might just list them up and go from there it is a nice size size 12 so as long as i can clean them up pretty nicely i think they should be able to sell for pretty decently too 11 bucks maybe you can get 50 to 60 back i'm at the chap thrift store and just picked up this equalizer massager model is eq 300 i'll show you guys a comp on it but only five bucks plus today is 30 percent off as well so it's even cheaper usually doesn't look like much but um can sell pretty decently uh it's kind of long though and kind of heavy but i think i can find a box for this not too bad. I'm a couple pairs of shoes I'm gonna grab. This one, a pair of Mephistos. This one's $15. And then this one's also a Mephisto. Good brand to look out for. This one is $12, size 9. A couple of good finds. Here's the new savers. Alright, guys, this is probably the biggest thing that I've bought. <laughs> it is a rainbow vacuum cleaner. Uh, it does come with the power nozzle as well. Uh, I do also have another attachment. As you can see, I paid $20 for this. I had two different items. Let's power on. I did test it out in there. It's a big, bulky item. But for only 20 bucks, I think it's actually worth it. Found these Nikes here. They're like golf shoes with the um, fly knit. As you can see here, there's a little bit of damage, but overall, not too bad. Uh, they are asking $20 though, so thinking about it, probably get like 70 I think, for this colorway. Still in pretty decent shape. That's all I've found so far at the Goodwill. At the Chap Thrift Store, and I found these Nike Iron Sets. Only 10 bucks. Today is Wednesday, and it's actually 30% off, so it's only going to cost me 7 bucks for 3 to 9 iron. It's in okay shape, but yeah. Nice find there for sure. I'm at Savers right now, and I've already got some stuff in my cart here. Got this reel, like fishing reel, Abu Garcia, eight bucks. I think it goes for like 30. This is a good find here. Passport 8500, X500, or X50. I think this is a radar detector. Got this uh, pocket, pocket talker, ultra. It's like some sort of like amplifier. Uh, and then another one here, three ninety nine on this one. I think this one goes for like ten. Uh, and then this Sony AV System Two remote control, three bucks. 
found another couple things. Bob at Extreme, five dollars. <laughs> Might get twenty, twenty-five for that. And these shoes, no bowls. First time finding these. However, they are. I don't know if you can see that. Eighteen dollars, nineteen dollars though. But I think they might actually go for sixty to seventy. That's what I found so far. Back in the car, and I just plugged this into my the twelve volt. I think it's a twelve volt plug, and it does turn on for this uh, radar detector. I honestly don't know anything about radar detectors, but it does work, and it does make some noise and whatever. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm guessing it's working. Maybe there's a radar. Maybe there's a cop around. <laughs> It's doing something, so it does work. I just don't have like a mount or anything to put it on my car. So yeah, didn't think about looking at it when I was at Savers, but we are at a different Savers. Maybe I can find one here. At the Goodwill now. Found a pair of shorts here, $4.99. And these are actually chubbies. I think they only go for 20 though. It's pretty basic shorts. I also found this. $8.99. It is cool though. And I seem to always find one of these. Travis Matthew Polo, $6.99. Pretty good shape. Looks like it's a closed day today. At the Salvation Army now. Found this Hello Kitty Bear. It's a build a bear. $1.99. Pretty good find. I don't know about the t-shirt, but the bear itself is pretty good. I found a pair of Hoka's, but these are the uh, Elevon 2. However, they're starting to price these up. 30 bucks. Look here guys, got another pair of Hoka's. This one does not have insoles, it's like a boot. But again, $30. Not worth it, in my opinion. But they're in good shape, they were cheaper. I'd probably pick them up. Saw a couple of Nikes here too, but they're asking 25 here. This is the Vaporfly, and then you got another one over here. 25 for these. Man, must be a new uh, new person here pricing things. Usually it's not that high. Well, let's keep looking. Hey right, guys, after I showed you guys those uh, Hoka's that were way overpriced, I ended up not filming anything else. But I did pick up some clothing items in this bag. Kind of some decent ones. This is a True Religion, a couple polo shirts. Uh, I'll show you guys everything once I get home. But did not film anything else after I looked at those Hoka's. Was not expecting to find something. But today is a clothing day. Just got back home and laid everything out for you guys. As you can see, I picked up all clothing items today. Did not find any hard goods, but uh, I found some pretty interesting things. First item is actually this True Religion Joey Super T uh, jeans. These are like the bell bottom bootleg whatever you want to call it definitely paid up for these paid 15 on these size 29 i think they're women's uh it's got the tiny pocket so i'm guessing they're women's kind of took a shot on this i don't know if these sell that well anymore i did look up some comps these were kind of like all over the place saw some around 50 to 60 saw some around 20 to 30 so just kind of took a shot on these i might price these at like 50 bucks they're in pretty good shape so Figured I'd give that a try. Next item is this Polo Ralph Lauren England uh, polo shirt. Pretty cool design here. England tag on here. England patch. It says England right on the front. Uh, there are a couple stains though on the bottom here. I'm going to see if I can try and get those out. This is a men's medium, I believe. Custom slim fit. $4.99. Saw some comps for these pre-owned. Go for about $35 to $40 actually. So not too bad on that. Uh, another Polo Ralph Lauren polo shirt. This one has the big pony blue color color this is also a size medium this is on the older tag so and it also has a number four on the sleeve this one was also 4.99 so I'm not sure on comps on this might be able to get like 15 to 20 it's not like too crazy i just thought this was kind of a cool pony design it's got like the actual jockey everything's kind of like all stitched together like that so Pretty cool design, a little bit of fraying, but I might be able to clean it up with a shaver. Usually this Goodwill has been pricing polos, uh, like the brand polo, pretty high, and I'm surprised to see these at five bucks. Speaking of polo, picked up another t-shirt here. This one actually has the polo bear playing tennis. Um, 
<laughs> pretty cute, pretty cool. I did not look up the comps on this, so I'm not even sure what this goes for. But I only paid three bucks, size large. And yeah, maybe I can get, I don't know, $20, $25 for it. Just looked up some comps. I saw this has been going for about $20 to $30. Some <coughs> listings have been around $20, some have been around $35, some have been around $40. So it's kind of all over, but I only paid three bucks on this. Probably looking at about $20 to $30 on that. And the last item from Goodwill, picked up this cool t shirt. Three. $3.99 here size medium yeah size medium it's got the cool logo right on the front here i don't think there's anything on the back and it does have the cool hit on the sleeve as well cool great brand to look out for if you can find the long sleeve ones or like the base layers great outer brand to look out for this t-shirt might go for 15 to 20 but i've seen some other t-shirts sell pretty decently the sell-through rate is pretty nice on that uh so Picked it up for only four bucks. Hey everybody, I just left the Chap thrift store right here and picked up only a couple of golf clubs, but they're pretty good ones. They're both uh, Nike Sasquatch Sumo 2s. We've got a three wood and we have a five wood. These were actually not priced and the lady at the counter priced them at three bucks a piece. So they were actually 30% off as well. Paid $4.50 for both of these. I think each of these can probably go for 50 to $60. So pretty a great find so far. We are back at the unique store guys. Just found one item so far. This is a Black & Decker Space Maker. $7.49, do you think I should get it? Looks to be actually new in the box. Uh, yeah. I'll show you guys some uh, comps on this, but yeah, $7.49, definitely a bolo guys don't know already just found this polo 779 Johnny O make sure you keep an eye on this logo great brand to look out for as far as polo shirts go also picked up a few other polos Travis Matthew might keep that for myself again cool design uh, that's that Johnny O one got another Travis Matthew this looks like an older style maybe I don't know and then there's a couple Peter Millar polo shirts as well down here. I uh, got this orange one. And found these cool shocks with the Wong print on here. These are like a women's six, which won't fit me all, but my last name is Wong. So maybe one of my family members wants it. Those were $10.50. A lot of clothes today. Hey guys, I'm at the Ark thrift store. Found a pair of Brooks here. These are the Adrenaline. GTS 22 and these were 13 bucks so pretty good find this is probably going for about 50 to 60. I just came from a it was like a house that was giving away a bunch of stuff for free actually they were moving and they just had a bunch of stuff in their lawn that said free so I ended up picking up a few things here first item is this Titleless hat gophers picked up the spider like winter jacket this is a kids size was that size 10 this will be good for the winter seems to be in pretty good shape maybe a stain here might be able to wash that off picked up this guitar hero guitar it's an xbox one it's a usb plug this is the explorer controller didn't look up anything i'll put up comps on any of this stuff there's also this here this is an abercrombie and fitch oxford shirt size large it's a nice white oxford i figured i could maybe sell that as well and then the last thing i picked up were actually a pair of timberland boots uh these are a men's size 10 and a half but it looked to be in pretty good shape. Still has lots of tread left on the bottom. I actually just came to Goodwill. I just picked up a couple pairs of shoes. $13 Allen Edmonds. These are the Cliftons. It's kind of like a burgundy color. And then found these Ultra Boosts. These are like collegiate, white and navy. Pretty cool color wave actually. These were also 13 bucks. Probably can get 50 to 60 maybe on each pair. I'll put up comps for you guys to see. We're gonna keep searching. Just found these Nike Air Trainer SC. These are, I don't know if you can see that, $13. Kind of a small size though. Eight and a half, but comps look pretty decent. Only found one item so far. Just left the Goodwill. Only picked up two pairs of shoes. Picked up these Jordans. These are actually kids Jordans. I paid $11 for these. 
Size five and a half. Not sure on how quickly they'll sell them. The five and a half isn't the greatest kids size too. But some of the comps have been going for maybe about 30 to 40. These are actually in pretty decent shape too. There's hardly any yellowing. Typically with these uh, outsoles, they get pretty yellow. This one's still decent shape, so we took a shot on it, and then I picked up those Nike Trainer SCs. Only two sold, two listed, but it's been going for about 65 to 70 on these, and I paid uh, 13 for those, so just picked up those two items. Hi hey everybody, I'm at the Loco Arc Thrift Store, just found this tailor-made raw hat, kind of dirty, I think it should wash fine. Three bucks. One size snapback. Just found another item. Mares. These are like fins. I honestly don't know anything about it, but six bucks. There's the other one. Looks to be in really good shape. I'll flash some comps for you guys to see. But first time picking up some fins. Just left the ARC thrift store. Only picked up the two items. The fins and the uh, tailor-made hat. So not too bad of a haul. We are at the Unique store, which is also known as Savers. Sent me a coupon for 40% off summer clothing. So like warm weather stuff. So they're trying to get rid of that stuff for fall. Let's see if we find anything good. Okay, guys, just found these Echoes. Kind of rough shape, but I think you can polish that. It's like a blue color. Only $5.49 though. Some scuffs there, but like I said, just needs a little polish. Found a couple other shoes actually here. There's a pair of women's on cloud. Brown color. Decent shape. $10.79 for those. Found these Asics wrestling shoes. These are $7.49. I think these go for maybe about $25 to $30. And then found a small pair of hokas this is the bondi 7 13.49 size eight and a half might go for like 40 to 50. oh the echoes might go for like 30. and then the on clouds these could go for like 70 to 80 so pretty good find there for 10.79 let's see if we can find more shoes found another pair of on clouds 5.79 but there's heel wear bottom tread is pretty beat up so i'm probably gonna pass on those but pretty cheap for five bucks all right guys found another pair of eye clouds i actually haven't found eye clouds in a while and i've already found like three pairs today <laughs> this one 1079 a little bit of heel wear but overall not too bad so i'll grab those two i've already got a basket full of shoes just found these shorts bow line short brand new lulu lemon double xl 25 dollars though however i do get 40 percent off so it might actually be worth it make sure there's no issues here that's pretty good i'm gonna grab it just left the unique store back there and everything was uh 25 percent off except for the shorts which were 40 percent off normally for reward members you get 25 percent off your entire purchase all the shoes that i picked up were all 25 percent off and then just the lululemon shorts which were um considered a summer clothing item uh that one was 40 percent off so there's no additional 25 off of that one so that came down to like 14.99 so 15 bucks for a pair of new lululemon shorts Men's size 2XL. I think it should sell pretty nicely. We definitely picked up some pretty good items. Spent a total of like $51 on everything that you guys saw. Just one pair of the On Clouds should get all of our money back and then everything else will be profit. So definitely a great day today at the Unique Store. I have a few items here. First one is actually this head cover. 11 bucks though. Might be a rare one. I don't know. There was one that sold for like 50 but then another one sold for like 30 so taking a shot on these like new pencils three bucks for the bag of four i hope they'll get like 10 bucks a piece fun pair of mephisto cool hair cool air these are like loafers penny loafers not too bad there and the last item found this grace and like full zip pretty cool pretty nice you guys see the wolf there that's this logo of grayson grayson is a 2xl 11.99 but in great shape, pretty much just a solid blue color. Again, here's the logo. Great brand to look out for, for golf apparel. We are at Savers and they have like an extra 30% off clothing this weekend. Found these Nike Air Monarchs, 
So this is a wide size, 10 and a half wide. Might give those a shot. And then I also found these Hoka's Clifton 8, size 10. Cool color wave. Oh, these were $11.99. Just left the savers and I ended up spending $49.30. Again, got 30% off of all the clothing items. Picked up a few other items here. I'll show you guys when I get back home. Just left the savers. We are at the Goodwill now. Goodwill. Got a couple of items at Goodwill. $6.99 for the TI-83+. Not sure if it works. And then I found this PS2 controller uh, for the Guitar Hero, Red Octane. This one, $8.99. I think it still goes for about $40, but I can test this at home. I have a PS2, and yeah, that's all our food. I am back home now. Spent $49.30 at Savers today. Savers was having their Labor Day weekend sale. 30% off all clothing, which includes shoes as well as accessories. Here is my haul today. First item here are these Kobe's actually. These were kind of priced up at $18.99, so $19, but they're in pretty good shape with lots of tread left. I thought I'd give them a shot. Nice black and white color wave, no rips or tears. These are a men's size nine and a half. As far as comps go, I think I saw some of these go for 25 bucks. <laughs> But then I saw some go as high as like $60, $70, so kind of hard to gauge on that. I'm going to have to do some more research before I list them, but hey, give it a shot. Kobe's, can't go wrong with them. I usually do pretty well with Kobe's. Uh, next one, we have another pair of Nikes. This one is, as you can see, pretty dirty, but I think most of it is dirt, and I can wash it off pretty easily with a Magic Racer. Uh, it looks like there is some paint stains, which might be okay. I don't think it'll hurt that much. There's just little spots here and there. There's some pilling here on the heel and just a little dirty i think i can clean them up pretty nicely and my next actually do pretty decently the sell through rate was pretty nice i think it was like 200 percent sell through rate which is kind of crazy didn't really know that but the thing is that these are actually a men's 10 and a half wide and i don't see wide sizes too often with nikes so i thought i'd give it a shot these were priced at 16.99 30 percent off of that came down to eleven dollars and 89 cents by the way the kobe's came down to 13.29 saw some comps go for about 35 40 bucks on these maybe even 50 so figure give it a shot i think i can clean them up nicely peeling isn't too big of an issue i do have a fabric shaver which should get all that off as long as there was no major rips or tears i think i was good with that and there's still some tread left on the bottom as well and then the last pair of shoes i picked up were a pair of hokas didn't see any major rips or tears bottom still has some tread left too and these are the clifton eights I don't know if you can see that. Clifton 8, which is a, I think the most recent one. I don't know if they're on 9 yet. These are men's size 10, which actually might fit me too. I tend to always pick up Hoka's anyways. Just need some cleaning, no rips or tears. That's the main thing when I look at shoes is that there's no rips or tears on the uppers. And as long as they have some tread left, as if it's not like super bald, I will probably pick them up. So these were priced at $11.99 only, so pretty good deal on those. After the 30% off, came down to $8.39. A couple of clothing items here. First one is actually a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren camo cargo shorts. Priced at $13.99. Seems kind of high, but I saw some of these cargo shorts go for about $45 to $50. Summer is kind of winding down, so it might be a little bit harder to sell, but as long as it's still warm out, I think people might still buy them. South Rain's pretty decent too, I think around 100%. Polo, great brand to look out for, especially camo shorts. Camo shorts in Abercrombie and Fitch actually do well too, so keep an eye out for those. I've sold a pair of Abercrombies before that were camo cargos. For like 50 bucks if you get a good deal on it i would suggest picking them up after the 30 percent off on these came down to nine dollars and 79 cents last item picked up were these levi's these are the 517s 38 by 32 these were only 849 so pretty cheap for a pair of levi's usually they price up levi's plus this is on the old paper tag and if you look in the back here typically this middle number shows the year so this was january of 1998. So these are vintage 90s 
and this has the orange tag. Probably looking to get maybe 35 to 40 on these. Not sure exactly. It's a pretty basic color, it's just the blue. But for only $8.49, couldn't pass up on those, especially when they're extra 30% off. Came down to $5.94 for a pair of Levi's. Like I said, I spent $49.30 on everything. I think we should easily get all of our money back just on the Hoka's, just on maybe the Kobe's, even maybe just the shorts, and then everything else will be pure profit.